so hello friends team nursing extra mileage welcomes you in another lecture that is introduction to anatomy and physiology these are the two basic subjects of a medical field be it nursing be it mbbs field so first we need to know what are the definitions of anatomy and definitions of physiology so first the definitions of anatomy this is study and the structure and function of the body study of structure and function and what is the definition of physiology this is a branch of science that deals with various functions of living organism and the process which regulate them means the structure basic structure is anatomy and the functions going on inside the structure is physiology this is the anatomical position for studying anatomy we need to know what is anatomical position so if a person is standing like this with he is looking forward with both the hands is in this position and both the leg is this position so in this position all the vital organs of the body remain in such position that is called anatomical position of that vital organ means a liver a liver is remaining in such position the angles the rotation if we are taking liver out of this person right in this moment and hold like this so this will be the anatomical position of the liver and suppose radius and ulna both the bones of the forearm if we are taking out the radius and ulna in this position only that will be the anatomical position of radius and ulna of the forearm so this is the anatomical position the other position this is the supine position so if a person is just lying his on his back with he is looking towards the ceiling that is called supine position and pro what is prone position if a person is lying on his abdomen and his back is looking towards the ceiling that is called the prone position another position is called the lithotomy position with both the leg remains in such position many operations happen in this position like areas of the perineum the fissure the piles the hemorrhoidectomy many operations the normal delivery occurs in this position so these are the three planes anatomical planes first transverse plane it is nothing but cutting a body transversely this is a sagittal plane it is nothing but this plane cutting vertically throughout the body coronal plane is another plane it is in little bit angulation cutting the body in this plane in this plane this is coronal plane so definitions of the planes median plane it is a imaginary plane this is median plane imaginary plane through the body from front to back sagittal plane is a plane named according to the sagittal suture it's parallel to the median plane so sagittal suture is important here and it is parallel to the median plane coronal plane is a imaginary vertical plane and transverse plane what i have told cutting the body transversely these are the terms of movement of the body different movements like this is flexion the body is bending forward bending backwards is extension different movement of the body like abduction it is a arm or a leg is going away from the body that is abduction and adduction is the organ or the extremity is coming towards the body or towards the midline that is called adduction likewise this is the adduction of the leg adduction of the leg this is sorry uh, abduction and this is adduction of the leg so different movement of the body in the first line this is elevation like bringing the shoulder above and this is depression bringing the shoulder below so these are the systems of the body different systems we need to understand what all organ consist of this system making the system so first is integumentary system then skeletal system muscular system nervous system endocrine system 
यूरिनारी सिस्टेम कार्डिओभास्कुलर सिसटेम लिम्फैटिक सिसटेम रेस्पिरेटरि सिसटेम डायजेस्टिव सिसटेम फिमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिसटेम एंड मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिसटेम उइ नीड टू अंडारस्टैंड इच एंड एवरी सिसटेम लिटिल बीट मीन्स हुईच अल अर्गैन कन्सिस्ट अफ दिस सिसटेम एंड ह्वाट आर देयर फांगशनस सो फार्ष्ट कमिंग टू इंटेगुमेंटारि सिसटेम दिस इज नाथिंग बाट द कवरिंगस अफ द बडी सिम्पलि टू रिमेम्बर स्किन हेयर एंड नेल स्किन हेयर एंड नेल सो ह्वाट आर देयर फांगशन मेन्टेन बडी टेम्पारेचार प्रोटेक्शन अफ द बडी फ्रम आउटसाइड आउटसाइड एंड इंजुरी एंड एलिमिनेशन अफ द वेस्ट बै द स्किन पोर्स एलिमिनेशन अफ द वेस्ट थ्रू द सोएट्स सेकेंड सिसटेम इज स्केलिटल सिसटेम फ्रम द नेम उइ कैन अंडारस्टैंड दैट द स्केलिटन दैट इज बोन्स जयंट्स एंड कार्टिलेजेस आर देर कन्स्टिट्युएंट्स दिज आर द बोन्स द नोज इज मेनलि मेड अप बै कार्टिलेज एंड दिज आर द ligaments in the joints so these are the skeletal system and this helps body movements and supports to the body then is muscular system so from the name we can understand this is mainly the muscles of the body that is skeletal muscle smooth muscle and cardiac muscles and from the picture also we can see what all the skeletal muscles this is the heart muscle that is cardiac muscles and which all are the smooth muscles so what are their function body movements and maintenance of posture coming to the nervous system from the name we can understand that this is related to some word nerve so the constituents are the brain the spinal cord and nerves brain the spinal cord which is going through the vertebra up to the coccyx it is ending before coccyx actually and nerves are spreading from the spinal cord throughout the body so this system is consist of nervous system and what they does their function is to regulate body activities coming to the endocrine system endocrines means related to hormones so which all organs they secrete hormone these are the hypothalamus pituitary thyroid parathyroid pancreas ovary or testis and adrenal from the picture you can see which organ is situated where like hypothalamus and pituitary they are secreted in the brain the thyroid gland is secreted in the neck like pancreas is secreted in the abdomen same adrenals also so what are their functions they re releases hormone and regulates varieties of body activities the hormone each hormone having each function coming to the urinary system they constitute of the urinary system constitutes of kidney ureter urinary bladder and urethra so this is kidney which makes urine the urine is coming by ureter getting accumulated in the bladder and going outside the body via urethra via urethra so kidney ureter bladder and urethra what they does their function is urine production and elimination and kidney has a vital function in acid base balance coming to the cardiovascular system from the name we can see that cardio and vascular so cardio means heart and vascular means vessels so nothing heart and vessels are arteries and veins so heart blood vessels and blood these are the constituents and their function is maintenance of blood supply to all organs of the body and thus supplies oxygen and washes out carbon dioxide the circulatory system heart pumps and sends oxygenated blood to different parts of the body via the arteries and where the carbon dioxide production happens in the cell and the veins of the body which brings carbon dioxide containing blood to the heart heart sent is to the then lungs and via lungs it goes out of the body 
then coming to the lymphatic system what are the constituents they are spleen thymus tonsils lymph nodes and lymphatic vessels so tonsils thymus the spleen the bigger lymphatic system these are the lymph vessels and these are the lymph nodes what are their function their function is action against foreign bodies the next system is respiratory system from the name we can see that they are associated with the respiration so lungs pharynx larynx trachea bronchus actually starts from the nose only where from we breathe the nostrils the first the nostrils here the nostrils remain then the nasal passage and it is coming via the nasopharynx then going towards larynx larynx then this blue part is the trachea blue part is the trachea then right bronchus and left bronchus and at last bronchioles and then the balloon structures alveoli these are the detailed structure of a respiratory system and what are their function oxygen carbon dioxide exchange is their function and they also helps in acid base balance like kidney coming to the digestive system so from the name we can understand that this helps in the digestion so starting from food intake and food going outside at stool the whole contents are the digestive system so starting from mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small and large intestine up to the anus is constituents of digestive system so this is mouth where the food is being taken and the whole pipe where the food absorption and then stool formation happening and going up to the anus this is whole is the digestive system their function is digestion and absorption of foods and elimination of stool coming to the female reproductive system associated with reproduction part of the female so they are the ovaries uterus fallopian tubes cervix and vagina so these are the ovaries both side two ovaries remains in a female both ovaries these are the fallopian tubes these structures and this is the uterus and this cervix and then vagina their function is production of ovum which is required for fertilization this ovum gets attached with the sperm and makes zygotes from where the baby birth happens and hormone production is another function of female reproductive system coming to male reproductive system in male part the constituents are the testis vas deferens seminal vesicles prostate and penis so we can see seminal vesicles vas deferens penis testis their function is sperm production and hormone production like the female reproductive system then the cavities of the body body cavities are spaces within the body that keeps organ safe and separate from each other so there are many cavities where the vital organs remains and they are not getting collided with each other so first is the cranial cavity it contains brain yes the very vital structure in the cranial cavity is this is cranial cavity and it contains the brain matter so eight fused cranial bones from a hollow space in the head called cranial cavity the eight bones makes the cranial cavity these bones it is depicted in the picture also the frontal occipital sphenoid ethmoid two parietal and two temporal bones all are making the cranial cavity likewise the thoracic cavity remains in the thorax that is in the chest it contains trachea bronchi lungs heart esophagus and nerves so this is the thoracic cavity and inside the thoracic cavity if you are seeing from front this is the structures of the thoracic cavity coming to abdominal cavity so this is the largest cavity of the body and they are divided in nine parts we can see the parts this is 
first part is right hypochondriac, the middle part is epigastric and left side is left hypochondrium. The middle most part is the umbilical, right side is light lumbar and left side is left lumbar. The lower most in the middle is hypogastric and right side is right iliac and left side is left iliac. So, every part having every organ, every part having importance of suppose pain is happening in ripe hypochondriac region. So, first we need to understand what all organs remain in ripe hypochondriac region. So, from the origin of the pain, we will understand that from which organ pain is coming like liver, gallbladder, right kidney, small intestine remaining here. Writing right iliac region, appendix or cecum. So, if right iliac pain is happening, we may think that it is maybe a right appendicitis. So, appendicitis is happening. So, we will go for the ultrasonography. So, this is the abdominal cavity and importance of each segment of the abdominal cavity is there. These are the boundaries. Boundaries superiorly is diaphragm. So, superiorly is diaphragm of here. And, and inferiorly continuous with the pelvic cavity, this inferior is continuous with the pelvic cavity, anteriorly is anterior abdominal wall means in front, posteriorly is lumbar vertebra and laterally by the muscles of abdominal wall and ribs. These are the boundaries of the boundaries of the abdominal cavity and each segment having importance, which organ remaining in that segment, they are having if a pain is happening in that segment, we may understand or we can think that pain is coming from that organ. So, last is pelvic cavity. So, pelvic cavity is nothing but cavities in the pelvis. So, many vital organs remaining there, all the genital organs, urinary organs remain there. They are the boundaries superiorly continuous with the abdominal cavity, superiorly this is continuous with the abdominal cavity, inferiorly with the pelvic floor, anteriorly with the pelvic bone, this pelvic bone anteriorly and posteriorly with the sacrum and the coccyx. So, and laterally with the hip bone. These are the boundaries of the pelvic cavity. So, thank you friends. We will meet in the next lecture. If you are liking the lecture, kindly like and subscribe our channel Nursing Extra Mileage. Thank you.